Hi, I'm Dan May. I'm the president of Black Magic Designer on the U.S. Operations. We're here showing our Terranex units at CCW in New York. Uh, Terranex was a company that we bought. It was a 20-year-old plus company that we're making great, fantastic products in the broadcast space for things like video conversion, cross conversion, uptown conversion. Um, and they were selling products that kind of range in that 10 to 20, but could really go up to 80 plus thousand dollars based off of software solutions. And you know, as the economy has changed, people aren't buying a lot of those solutions anymore. So we we picked them up as an acquisition, and we relaunched their product line, their old BC100 product line, into our new uh, Terranex 2D and a Terranex 3D model. Now these models are basically using all the same code, all the same software, but we've been able to use our purchasing power uh, and a lot of our engineering muscle to be able to kind of shrink these down and productize these in such a way we've created this 2D version at basically $2,000 and a 3D version at $4,000. And they have a lot of the same, most of the same functionality as that BC100 so that you can do things like up conversion, cross conversion, scaling, grain reduction, all the same functionality in these units. You're just deciding if you want a 2D based unit, a single channel in, or 3D based unit for essentially two channels to be able to do 3D. So right. I'll show you quickly how this unit kind of functions here. Simple layout device, very similar framework that we saw in the old VC100s. Of course, all of our inputs and outputs on the back. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at an input coming on one of the SDIs with audio embedded. This is using SD486 here, interlace, and uh, the frame rate's at basically a 60 frame rate. So if I said, right now, what is it doing? We'll look at my output. Right now, it's going into a 1080i. Uh, 60 base out output as well. But if I wanted to say instead change that to a 720 progressive 50 base and hit accept, now it's swapping over. It's going to make our change. So it's it's a bit of an anything to anything. If I want SD to be HD, if I want to change frame rates up and down, but this is how it basically functions. We're, we're selecting inputs and outputs, we're changing that over, and it's a, it's a very simple and elegant solution. Um, we're working on our Ethernet update to be able to do this via remotely. Today it's just a basic touch screen uh, or touch, touch ability, but simple, elegant, broadcast quality standards. And again, $2,000 or $4,000, it's a lot of functionality for what you're paying. So really happy to have 2D shipping now. 3Ds are about 30 to 45 days out. Okay. And uh, you can find more about us on www.blackmagicdesign.com. That's great. I have a, I have a question about the, the, yes. three, the 3D also. Yes. So um, as I understand, you can the, the processing of the, the settings in the 3D are kind of static. So you can you can set the, the parallax, the interocular, and you can run various clips, but it's not dynamic. So Yeah, it's not dynamic. It's Whereas something in like our DaVinci Resolve, you could go shot by shot and adjust the depths, and yeah. it is more of a, I'm setting it to be this, and it's going to be your catch-all, because it's doing it live. Yes. So if you wanted to take a 2D source and create it 3D, it's got some abilities to set that, but once you've set it, it's going through and, and being that. So right. to be able to do live and real-time 2D to 3D conversion, that's a fantastic thing to do in real time. If you want real control to be able to say shot by shot based, you're still going to something in software like you would on our DaVinci Resolve software. Yeah. So suppose you set up, uh, if you had like three cameras and you had three of these boxes and you set up the, the conversion parameters for each one differently. So one was a close-up, one yeah, was a far could, shot. you could, and then you could do something like run a live production switcher behind that. Yeah, you were switching. exactly. How complicated do you want the setup to be? Yeah. It all depends on what you want to do, but yeah, there are options you can do. Great. Thank you, Dan. You're very welcome.